Welcome, welcome everyone, and happy holidays. Today's subreddit is r slash choosing beggars, where you can find the most pleasant people that all think the world owes them something. This sub is always an adventure, and we're taking a look at a whole bunch of choosing beggars today, so let's jump right into this. Looking for a room for my daughter. She is employed and has been so throughout the pandemic. She is leaving her husband and needs something immediately in a quiet home. She does love to listen to her music loudly when getting ready for work, and she leaves for work at 4 or 4.30 a.m. every morning. Also, she has a fear of dogs. If anyone knows of anything, please inbox me. Yes, she needs a quiet home so she can listen to her music very loudly at 4 in the morning. Hey roommates, keep it down, I'm trying to listen to loud music over here. On a Facebook group where people give away unwanted items for free for people who need them. Looking for genuine AirPod Pros. Must have receipt to price they are genuine. Yes, I need earbuds, but I'll only accept the most overpriced ones on the market, and they have to be free with proof of purchase, or else I'm not interested. Hi, I wanted to commission you, but your prices are too high for me. I'm a student, can you change them? Howdy, as much as I'd like to do that and understand how tough it is being a student, I can't change the prices. I feel that they're justifiable, but I can point you in the direction of artists within your budget if you'd like. Change them, nobody is going to pay for those effing prices for your trash. You're deluded if you think anybody is going to. Better yet, they aren't worth money at all. Your art sucks. You can blame the algorithm all you effing want, but in reality, nobody likes your effing art. Hello? I want a drawing. If my art sucks, why would you want a drawing from me? F off and give me a drawing, you C word. When are people gonna learn that insulting someone's work isn't going to get them to do their work for free for you? They should really work on their negotiation skills. Wedding on the 10th of April. Good morning. My client is a well-known social media influencer who is planning to be married at the blank on April 10th. In the lead up to her wedding beginning this summer, she would like a documentary style video an hour long and photos taken at bridal fittings which can be shared with her followers. On the day of the wedding, she would like a video documenting the whole day, must be one hour in length, and a package that includes approximately 1,000 photos. In exchange, she is willing to extensively promote your business to followers on Instagram and Facebook. Combined amount of 55,000 people, including story shoutouts, and will offer a discount of at least 25% on your packages. Just so you are aware, we have approached four other similar businesses in your area, so a fast response will be beneficial to your business. Ah yes, the good old, we've already reached out to a bunch of other people tactic. Better take my offer soon or you might miss out on some great exposure. An insta-famous cyclist was giving away a bunch of bikes to kids for Christmas. I'll try, I already got kids picked out. No worries, thank you for doing good for those kids. He's a 5'8", just in case you do, so you know, he's a tall child. So you are from Brooklyn, New York to Miami, and you couldn't even try to give my baby a bike, wow, and you're supposed to be helping out the homeless, or helping out the needy children, and through the domestic violence that I had to flee, actually Florida, otherwise I would be dead and won't be able to take care of myself. Son. You couldn't even spare a bike just to make a child who I can't even give anything to right now because I just got here. Merry Christmas. What bothers me most about this is this person's lack of punctuation. You know, a period or a comma wouldn't hurt ya. Got scammed for $155 by a choosing beggar who charged back four months after keeping the painting. Did you charge back? No. Why would you do that? Sends proof. I didn't like it. Yes, you did. You said so cute, exactly like I asked. Thanks so much, babe. I can send you the screenshot. It's literally right up there. Okay, I will be blocking you if you don't stop harassing me. What? Blocking me for harassing you? You scammed me for my work. You asked me to change the entire idea of the painting at least four times, and I still restarted with a whole new picture that you were indecisive about again and again. You want a huge canvas. You wanted me to paint your stupid, ugly family. I spent all the money on the paints and spent a whole week and a half on it. And now you're suddenly charging me back for the whole thing even after you said you liked it? You even posted it. You're charging me back that too, four months after the painting has been sitting in your home? 
This doesn't look like a, I didn't like it. Excuse me, I'll be reporting you. Take your stupid painting, I'll ship it back to you. I want a refund. A refund after you already got the money? Yep, send me the $155 and I'll send you back the money. What is wrong with you? Okay, this person is literal scum. Being a choosing beggar toward a multi-million dollar franchise, okay, whatever. But scamming a freelance artist for their work? That is just about as low as you can get. Most of these artists barely make anything compared to the amount of time and effort they actually put into their work. That's just disgusting. I know it's a rule for a lot of these subs to have to hide these people's identities, but for some of these, I wish people would be able to show their identities because some of these people deserve to be doxxed. I say reveal their identities and let the internet come after them. Then maybe they would actually learn their lesson. My old boss got rear-ended in traffic on a major city freeway. The guys in the car asked for $200 and they would forget about it. No way, you hit me, boss replied. Okay, $100, they responded. $50? When the police showed up, they were arrested for driving a stolen car. Let me get this straight, these people stole a car, got in a wreck with said car when they were at fault in the wreck, demanded money from them to pay for the damages of the car that they stole, stuck around after waiting for the police to show up, and then getting arrested for said stolen car. Genius of the year goes to this guy. If any of you ever feel like you might not be doing too well in life, just remember the choices of this beautiful person right here. People are angry that they can't get Cyberpunk 2077 refund and still keep the game. In the midst of a heartbreaking launch, there are now gamers who are angry that they can't get a full refund and still keep Cyberpunk 2077. This game is trash. Give me a refund. Okay, give the game back. What? I want to keep it though and keep playing. That'd be like if you bought a car and tried to return it. This car sucks. I want a refund. Okay, give us the car back. What? You mean I don't get to keep the car and get my money back? We are currently working on a comic dub series. The series involves some transitioning VFX and SFX, importing voice actor audio, and if it's in your skill, you can also add some animatics. You can apply as either one term, working for only one project, the comic dub series, or long term, can work for other projects if the comic dub series ended. DM for more information. Requirements. Must have experience in past works to show. Have good programs like Camtasia, Premiere Pro, etc. If you have other good programs like After Effects, that's fine. A good schedule that can make it easier for the videos to be submitted on time. Four slots only. Unpaid work. This is completely voluntary. I love how these people are using all this terminology to make it out like it's a real job, such as applying for one term or a long term and having a closing deadline. These people need a reality check that no one gives a fuck about their passion project. Just because they're doing something that they're passionate about doesn't mean that they can expect other people to give up their precious time to do their bidding as well. That's kind of the point of a passion project that you're not going to profit off of. If you need other resources and other people to help you out, you need to be willing to shell out the cash. But a lot of people don't seem to understand that. Hello, girly. Just freaked out about your Facebook post on Harry Potter. Would you be willing to sell me a journal and necklace for Christmas gift for her? We are at work and she's telling us how crafty and talented you are. Oh, how sweet. I would love to do a custom order. The journal is one of a kind, so if I were to make another one, the cover would be a bit different if you're okay with that. I have several covers you could choose from. That's fine. You choose. I know nothing about Harry Potter. She is so excited about necklace. Thanks in advance. Awesome. I'll get started on them. The necklace would be $10 and the journal would be $30 since that will take a while to make. Is that okay? Absolutely fine. I'll pay you in cash. Buy the girls something cute. Perfect, I will. The journal is finished. Awesome. Love the blue. Glad you like it. The necklace will be done in a couple days. I kept forgetting to tell you that everything is finished. Perfect. How would you like me to pick them up? Total price? What about one night this week? Blank can drive me over and I'll just pick it up real quick. Total price is $40. I can probably drop them off sometime next week. I'll need to get groceries and I love Walmart pickup. Perfect then, just let me know the date and time. Okay, we will do. It'll probably be Wednesday. Sounds good. Showed the pics to Blank just now. He knows Blank loves Harry Potter but doesn't think she will ever wear the necklace and won't write in the journal. He doesn't think it's the right gift. Sorry. These took days to make. You can't custom order something and then not pay. Oh my. I thought the set was made when she saw the pics of both of them. She sent pics to me and they were made already when I saw them as well. 
I confirmed with you right here that it was a custom order. Really? You will be able to sell it if you already sold one set as you say. No, I didn't sell it. I made it as a gift for my niece. The journals only sell when they're a custom order. It's one thing to say you don't want it, and a complete other issue when you're lying about not knowing it was a custom order. I made it very clear multiple times that I was making these items specifically for you. Lying? I have not even mentioned custom order to you. I said I didn't want the order first, and never did I lie about custom order. Never even came into the conversation. For you to even say lying, we are done texting. Have a nice holiday with family and friends. I was specifically making these items for you. That is called a custom order. Go back and read the messages and explain to me how you didn't understand that these weren't already made. I confirmed the journal with you to make sure you liked the cover. I went on to tell you that I was still working on the necklace. All of our correspondence supports that I didn't already have these items made. I just absolutely don't understand how that wasn't clear, which is why I used the word lying. Sorry if that was too harsh. Man, that sucks. This person totally got their time absolutely wasted. I'd be legitimately pissed if I was this person. And that was r slash choosing beggars. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to drop a like if you did and subscribe for more Reddit videos. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to you all and I'll catch you next time.